My name is Carla Castagno. I'm with Coin6 News. Thank you, commissioners, for the opportunity to be here today. I'm here on behalf of Coin6 News and our viewers in Multnomah County. Since Chair Kogan did not answer questions following last week's vote on his future, there are still many unanswered questions that have failed to be answered, and I believe the public has a right to ask these questions. I did request an interview with the chair multiple times, but I was not able to get an interview, so I'm using this public forum to kindly ask those questions today. My first question, sir, how can you assure the public you can get anything done in the county when all other commissioners have tried to vote you out of office? Second question, why should taxpayers feel you should be making decisions for them while you're under investigation for your use and potential misuse of county funds? This is your chance. This is not a question and answer session. Continue, though. Thank you. Question three. Last week, the commissioner sitting beside you voted essentially to get you out of that chair. Why did you choose not to leave? Question four. There is concern within the county that Sonia Monhas took the fall for this affair, and you're still here. Is that a fair assessment? How do you explain her departure while you voted to keep yourself here? Question five. Documents prove you pulled hundreds of thousands of dollars of county funding to pay for Sonia Monha's program when it was about to be cut. On the surface, it looks like you were trying to save her job. Please tell us why you did this. Question six. When you stayed in the hotel in Atlanta with Monhas both times it was on Multnomah County taxpayers' dimes, is that true? Question seven. Do you plan to run for re-election? Last question. Did you use your county-issued phone to maintain this affair? We could have done this the easy way or the hard way. You said you would talk to us about county business, and I think taxpayers believe that when you have an affair on taxpayers' dime, it becomes taxpayer business. You declined our interview request multiple times. Thank you. Thank you.